Okay, today I have an encouraging word for you, and here it is. It's never too late to begin again. I know that some of us right now, you've been through several careers, or maybe you've been through several projects, you've been through several businesses, and you're frustrated and you're like, man, can I do it again? And let me share something with you. That is one of my biggest fears that I've struggled with since I was, since I could talk, you know, so I don't know, what, 30 plus years ago. And my biggest fear was, could I do it again? Could I build this thing again? Or could I do this project again? Or could I run that race again? Or could I do that good on a paper again? Um, you know, could I do that good on a speech again? These are all, that, this was my bout with self-doubt. And that was a big, big, big thing for me. And it's a dragon that I slay every day. It's something that I'm butting up against. And I think that, that to really have, to squeeze the juice out of life, and to really feel like you're progressing, you wanna be butting up against your dragon, your enemy all the time and winning. But it's something that's always there. You never overcome it fully because it's there, but you have to embrace it. And that's what I've done is, is it's something that's a voice in my head. And, and I'd like to be able to say here like, yes, I've eliminated that self-doubt voice, but guess what? It's still there. Now I've quieted it down a lot. You know, matter of fact, Warren Buffett in his book, The Snowball, um, talks about self-doubt. I mean, he's one of the most wealthiest men in the entire world. And he talks about his self-doubt. And that was something that I struggle with and I still struggle with. And so could I begin again? Could I start again? You know, it's never too late. I don't care if you're 75 years old. Think about how much experience you have if you're 75. You have 75 years of experience. Well, what if you're 25 years old? You have 25 years of experience, okay? It's never too late to begin again. Maybe you've retired from your career and you're like, well, what, what am I gonna do? Actually, that's a great place to be. You have infinite possibilities. You're not, you're not stuck in a box or, or you know, you're not stuck in a, in a, you know, in a situation where you have to do what you've been doing for the last 25 years. You don't have to, you've retired. You can move on, you can graduate to your life's passion. You can begin again. You know, some of you right now are in a business and you're hit a plateau and you're struggling right now. And guess what? Hit the reset button. Turn around, fire, fire yourself, turn around and hire yourself again and hit the reset button and just start again with the, with the fervor and the energy and the enthusiasm that you started that project with five years ago, 10 years ago, three years ago, whatever. You know, once again, I know it's easier said than done, but, but these are words that I'm giving to you because they were given to me. You know, once again, my biggest struggle was, can I do it again? And it's never too late. You know, Colonel Sanders, Kentucky Fried Chicken, that started when he was 60 years old, literally. I mean, he had his restaurant and he was pretty successful with his restaurant. And then they wanted to build a highway right through where his restaurant was. And so literally he lost his restaurant. And pretty much he thought his entire life was over at the age of 60 but he was able to franchise uh, the, the concept of Kentucky Fried Chicken. And he, he asked for, you know, he said, look, I tell you what, give me five cents for every piece of, the ch piece of chicken you cook with my recipe. And, um, and that's the deal. And they thought it was an awesome deal. You know, he had, you know, by that time he had like 600 franchises. He's making five cents for every piece of chicken that sold, multimillionaire. And so it's never too late to get started. So what is it that you wanna start? Is it a new business? Is it, do you wanna write a book? Do you wanna uh, do some sort of a training? Do you wanna write kids books? Do you want to uh, build an orphanage? Um, do you wanna do some mission work? You know, do you wanna hit that seven figure mark or six figure mark? Or do you wanna travel around the world and taste all the different wines and taste all the different cheeses? What is it that you really wanna do? You know, maybe you wanna change careers like 180 degrees and you want to go from a, a sales orientation to maybe a service orientation. I, I don't know, but I just, I'm here to let you know that I'm giving you permission that it's never too late to begin again. Because all of us every year at the beginning of every year, you know, people put their New Year's resolutions or their goals or their outcomes on pieces of paper and everything like that. And there's so many different ways to do that. And you don't have to wait till the beginning of the year. You can do it three months into the year. You can do it six months into the year. You can do it in October if you want. It's never too late to begin again. 
With that said, I hope this message has encouraged you today, and I look forward to helping you arrive at your next intended destination healthy, wealthy, and happy.